All right, in this video, we're going to key on the first part of that uh, process that I talked about in the introduction, that is cleaning up the expression. Okay, so here we've got an expression where there's a couple of things to expand. There's a binomial times a binomial, so we're going to FOIL that out. And then there's also just a regular number that has to be distributed into that bracket. Okay, so let's start by expanding those out. So it's going to be 7 minus... Now this one here we got to be careful with because this whole yellow part is being subtracted. So I'm going to put a, a subtract sign down here to, sh to remember that we're subtracting the result of multiplying the yellow parts. All right, so foiling that out, I got firsts give me 5 times x, outsides give me uh, negative 5, insides x times x, positive x times x is plus x squared, and then x times negative 1 is negative x. Okay, so I've foiled that out, and the next part is a 4 being distributed to the uh, x plus 1. Now again, I'm going to use my little trick of it's being added, so I'm just going to, in my mind, think of that as a positive 4. So when I distribute it, I'll kind of take care of that addition as well. So positive 4 times x is going to be plus 4x, and then positive 4 times positive 1 means that it's going to be plus 4. Okay. So now that we've expanded everything, it's a matter of simplifying. Okay, so here, when I, I, I remember that I'm subtracting everything in these brackets, when I remove the brackets then, I have to remember, well, you can almost think about it as like you're distributing, subtracting to each of those terms. So I'll be subtracting 5x. I'll be subtracting negative 5, so negative times negative is plus 5, negative times positive is minus x squared, negative times negative is plus x. So when I remove the brackets, I sort of distribute the negative uh, to each of those things. And then finally, we have to take each term and rewrite the terms in descending order by their powers. So that is, we want the x squared uh, all the x squareds uh, first this time, so it's, there's only one. So it's going to be negative x squared. Then we're going to do our x terms, so negative 5x plus x plus 4. So negative 5 plus 1 plus 4, they all cancel out. And the last thing we're going to do then is we have 7 and 5 is 12, and uh, so it's plus 16. Okay, so there it is written in sort of uh, cleaned up, okay, in, in simplest form with the highest power of x first on its way down. Okay, so that's kind of what we're, now that actually turns out we can, we can factor it, but we're going to save that for another day. In the next example, again, we have a couple of things to expand. We have a foiling, and we've got a distributing. Okay, so let's take care of those. So here, I'll put that in brackets. So x, x times x is x squared. Now, you might remember this from last year, that this is kind of like when you have two identical binomials one's positive, one's negative. It's x plus 4, x minus 4. So that's going to be a difference of squares. So if I keep foiling, I'm going to get plus 4x, minus 4x, cancel, minus 16. Okay. Then in the next section, I'm going to distribute a 2, and I'm also going to treat it like a negative 2 so I can take care of the subtracting as well. So that's minus, uh, that's minus 2x, and negative 2 times negative 6 is plus 12 minus 3x squared. Just the, the little thing tacked on the end. Now, since this thing, I put it in brackets first here, uh, since the brackets really aren't doing anything, there's nothing in front of it, I can just kind of go like that. It's really, since, since things are at the front there, they're really serving no purpose. Okay, so now let's gather our like terms. So we have x squared minus 3x squared gives us negative 2x squared. And then we have negative 2x 
and then negative 16 plus 12 is negative 4. Okay, so can we, so that's in simplified form. Can that be written in factored form? Yeah, it can be, but we're going to save that for another day as well. All right, and the last one, the last example we'll do here is just more of the same. We've got a distributing, or sorry, a foiling situation and a distributing situation there. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, go for it here. So I'm going to distribute, and then we're going to foil this out. So that's 3x squared minus 2x minus 18. Okay, subtract. Now here the brackets are going to be a big deal because once I multiply all this out, it all still needs to be subtracted. So I put it in brackets to help uh, remember that. So foiling that out gives me x squared. The outsides give me negative 2x. The insides give me positive 3x. So those will combine to positive x. And then the lasts give me positive 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Okay, before I can gather like terms now, I have to deal with the fact that 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 whole yellow part is yet to be subtracted. So I'm going to remove the brackets and go, I'm going to subtract the x squared, I'm going to subtract a positive x, and I'm going to subtract a negative 6, which becomes plus 6. So in my head, it's kind of like I multiplied or distributed a negative to each of those things. Okay, that's like the kind of like little sort of shortcut way I, I use. All right, so now gathering like terms, we have 3x squared and minus 1x squared combines to 2x squared. Then I have negative 2x and negative uh, x, and that combines to negative 3x. And then the last ones are negative 18 and positive 6 give me negative 12. Simplified, cleaned up, and ready, ready to go. All right, so on the next page you have a bunch of practice. And uh, in the next video, we're going to take a look at taking out the common factor and a few other things.